my name is Sue Kaufman. I'm a physical educator and I'm studying to be a certified personal trainer. I've also had some problems recently with a heel spur. Now I went to the doctor, I got um, some medicine, some anti-inflammatory, I got some exercises to do, like two, and I got a cortisone shot which was not much fun. And just in the course of over the weeks that I was dealing with it, I decided that I would get back to my yoga that I try to do at least once a week. It's a 90 minute video. And I noticed that when I did it on the weekends, for two days after that, I would be totally pain free. So I know that most of us don't have 90 minutes to give daily to a yoga session to um, help with pain in your heel. So I put together 10 minutes of exercises just designed for heel spurs or plantar fasciitis if you've had the same type of thing and you I'm not saying not go, don't go to the doctor don't get don't do what the doctor says but I am suggesting that if you use this video and do these exercises once a day you'll see a big difference in your pain level so let's get to it you might recognize if you've already been to the doctor because this is one of the ones they gave me to do from the doctors it's called a wall stretch you can use a wall, I have a post here. You want your forearms against the wall or the post. Right foot forward and bent, left foot back. And you can start with either foot. Your heel needs to be pressed the whole way into the floor. And you should feel a stretch right up the back of your calf. And in your Achilles tendon, that's what you really need to stretch. And you hold this for about 15 seconds. So I just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And you switch legs. And you should do both legs equally or both feet equally, even though only one hurts. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you want to repeat this two more times. Three total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Last rep. again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, good job. All right, this exercise uses two yoga positions within it. It's called a sun salutation, and you'll be doing an upper dog and a downward dog. And in there will be putting in that heel stretch that we just did and it really stretches out your Achilles tendon. So let me show you the upward dog and then the downward dog so you can understand how to do it. And then I'll take you through one sun salutation and show you how we put the heel stretch in. So to do upward dog, if you have a mat, use a mat, if not, carpet's fine. You need to be in what's called a plank position. So your arms are straight your body's straight and your toes are on the mat. Now from here, you're going to bend your elbows and keep them close to your rib cage. Bring your body down to the floor, slide so your fronts of your feet are on the mat. Now, the fronts of my feet are on the mat, my knees are not, but if that's too much for you, you can put your knees on the mat. You want your head up not, not hunching shoulders, but head up. 
So this is upward dog. Then from here you'll move into downward dog. So your toes need to be on the mat. And you just move your body into downward dog. So your hip bones are up into the air. Now for this exercise you need to adjust your feet so that your heels are either on the floor or really close to the floor. Your head should be between your shoulders, just like you see mine right now. Now from here we'll do that same Achilles stretch that we did against the wall. So bend one leg and straighten the other one so your heel is all the way to the mat or the floor. And then you hold it. And then bend the opposite leg and straighten. And again, press your heel into the floor. And that's one rep. Switch and hold. Switch and hold. Last two reps. Switch and hold. Switch and hold. And that's three reps. Now take a step up. Other foot up, roll up, and we're going to do a position called flat back. You can have your hands here or dangling. Reach down as far as you can and just hang, relax your body. Now if you take your arms out, we're going to fold up, reach up, and hands down. Now that's one sun salutation. You can do one with those heel stretches or work your way up to three. Okay. For this next exercise, you'll need a band, or if you don't have a band, you can use a towel. A towel works just fine. So you need to be seated on the mat or on the floor, and this band or your towel goes around the ball of your foot. Now you need some pressure because you need your foot to be flexed, which means your toes are going to point back toward you. This is pointed, this is neutral, this is flexed. Now once you have it in that position, you're going to hold it for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and then you switch feet. Ball of the foot. Band is all goofy. Got to get it on the ball of my foot. Flex it. Toes back toward you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Now you would repeat that two more times because you want to do a total of three. And this incidentally is another uh, exercise that my doctor showed me. But I have one more for you. So coming right up. For this last exercise, I had to bring you over into my lovely, lovely laundry room because this is the only surface I can find to show you how to do this. When I do this, I do it on a flight of stairs. It really works well. I come down and feed my dog in the morning and I just go up the flight of steps. I go up six steps while I do this, three reps on each foot. But this works just as well. You just need somewhere to, to be able to hold on to. I'll pull my pant leg up so you can see a little bit better what's happening. So, one foot is going to remain on the surface. The other one, the ball of your foot is the last part of your foot that you want to be on the surface. The other part of your foot is going to dip down below it so you can hopefully you can see that and you're holding that stretch again stretching your Achilles really well for guess how many seconds 15 here we go one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you switch legs. So this one comes up onto the surface. This one, ball of the foot the last part that touches. Heel, dipping down below, and hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you would repeat this two more times for a total of three. So, if you can work that small stretching routine into your day, every day, I'm pretty sure that your heel spur or your plantar fasciitis is going to feel much better. Now, don't ignore the doctor. Whatever the doctor says to do, you do that too. Okay, see you next time for some more advice on exercise.